There are two state Senate races and seven state House races that are within less than a thousand votes. Keeping in mind that there are still absentee ballots and provisional ballots that will come in and get counted, we wanted to get some more details. Let's start by running through the races that are super close in Iowa. Take a look. So Senate District 20, that's the Johnson Grimes area, 971 votes. Senate District 22, West Des Moines and Clyde, 166. House District 15, Council Bluff, 731. Same for House District 16, also in Council Bluff, 727. House District 29 in Newton, 139 votes. House District 38 in Ankeny, 159. Now, remember that one. We're going to come back to that one. House District 39 in Ankeny is 412 votes difference. HG 60 in Waterloo, 475. HG 82 out of Fairfield, 170 votes. So, I reached out to the Secretary of State's office just to see how many ballots could still be returned. And they say, remember, all results are unofficial until the canvas and post-election audits are done. But as I'm looking at the numbers and talking to some political insiders, the only race that could possibly feasibly change is House District 38 in Ankeny. It's not super likely. There just aren't enough ballots out there to make changes in any of those other legislative races, even if every single absentee ballot that was requested got returned. The point is, we're keeping our eye on these races, and when we have some more information, we'll let you know. In studio, I'm Sabrina Ahmed, Local 5 News. We are Iowa.